Stacy, the encaustic mixed media artist behind Studio Stacy. In this week's video, I am painting a large painting again, and I am sharing my favorite encaustic brushes and what brushes I use with my encaustic paintings. Before I get to painting, I have to uncover this large painting, this large panel. I glued a photo onto it over the weekend and let it set up and dry. And now we are ready to paint. Good morning. It is um, a very early heart and dark out still. Um, I am up in the studio because it's going to be super hot so I am trying to get up here bright and early um, it's basically <laughs> me and the birds that are up this morning um, anyways I'm gonna get the wax turned on and get um, painting on this painting while that um, wax heated up I thought I would explain how the painting got to where it's at now um, I don't always paint on the weekends, but because I knew we were having this huge uh, heat wave happening, I thought I, again, I would get a little bit of stuff done in the morning on the weekend. And um, so I got a couple layers of encaustic medium down and some ink down. And that's kind of where the painting is at now. All that to say, I am not sure how this lighting is going to be. Hopefully it's not going to be too horrible for um, videoing, but we're looking to find out. The ink that I put on over the weekend is now completely dry on this painting and on those trees. So I'm just heat fusing that into the encaustic layers below. And then I'm going to be applying some encaustic medium over top of it just to really set it into the painting. Good morning. <laughs> uh, yesterday got completely sidetracked with um, a couple of meetings, so I didn't get too much done on this painting. Um, some exciting things might be brewing here for uh, Studio Stacy, but um, not quite ready to let you in on that. We'll see what happens in the next couple weeks and um, let you know that, but stay tuned. Anyways, I'm going to uh, get back to this painting and probably I'm thinking get most of it done today. So let's get to painting.
right, I do believe this is done. Get you a couple close-ups here. Lots of texture. And some of the details in the trees there. Sorry about that flashing light. I think I have to change a light bulb here in the studio. But there it is. One more painting complete. I got asked a, a couple videos back about my supplies and what supplies I used. So I'm going to try to remember to put them in the description below any supplies that I used on particular paintings for every video. If I don't for some reason and you guys have a question or even if you if I do and you have a question on that particular supply, definitely uh, leave me a comment and I'm happy to answer anything that I can about them. But in today's video, since I pretty much only used some um, black India ink and some encaustic paint, I thought I might talk about brushes that you can use with encaustic versus ones that you should not use. For the most part, these little detail brushes that I use, I like the long handles. And a lot of times you see me gripping way down here. So <laughs> I'm not sure why I like the long handles, but I like the long handles. The handle though, however, is not the important part on these brushes. What is the important part is the actual brush itself. You want to have a natural bristle brush for encaustic. So by natural brus bristle brushes, I mean um, like a goat hair, a hog hair, things like that. And I know it may be a little bit controversial to use um, animal hair in your brushes, but if you use a synthetic or a more of like a plastic bristle brush that you can use for acrylic paint, it will melt <laughs> because you're using it on your hot griddle and in your hot encaustic paint. And you certainly don't want to one, ruin your paint and two, ruin any brushes that you might have for acrylic paint. So don't use um, anything, any synthetic brushes in your encaustic. You can also use these inexpensive chip brushes they call them. Um, they are natural bristle brushes and you can get those at um, any most hardware stores or um, big box paint stores. If you didn't want to spend a lot of money on brushes, these are great and I use this all the time with my white. For whatever reason, I decided to use a chip brush with my white paint and it works perfectly. Moving along to the brushes that I have in my encaustic medium. These are specifically meant for encaustic paint and they are um, hake, I think I'm saying that right, uh, bristle brushes and they work great with my encaustic medium. I have obviously a large one and a small one here. Okay, I have a few more assortment of brushes here, and I know I've mentioned in the past that I don't have a brush for every single paint color. Instead, I have a brush for paint color families. So like this, I would use for my yellows typically. This brush I use for pinks and reds, and this is typically green, blue, and purples. And then I also have an orange brush um, that I use for oranges. And that way I don't have to buy a ton of brushes and you can see these are well used and well loved brushes. So I hope that was helpful on describing the brushes that I use. Again, if you have any questions, just leave them down below in the comments. I'm happy to answer anything. If you're wondering where you purchase those brushes, I get a lot of my encaustic supplies and paint and both brushes from Fine Art. I believe it's fineart.com. 
I'll leave it below. It's not, it's not an affiliate link. It's not sponsored. Um, they're just a great uh, small company and they're also very, very helpful if you have any questions. Um, they are always happy to help. So um, ch go check them out if you are interested. And um, yeah, hopefully that was helpful. If you have any questions, like I said, just leave them below. Thanks so much for coming along and watching this video. If you enjoyed it, I would so very, very much appreciate it if you gave it a, a great big thumbs up. And if you aren't subscribed and would consider doing so, that would also be so much appreciated if you are subscribed but aren't getting notified every time I release a new video, which is usually on Tuesdays. Hit that bell down there and that will notify you. Again, thanks so much for coming along. We'll talk to you soon and bye for now.